The last time the Giants made it to the playoffs, 2016, you were on that roster. You were a leader on that team. You're a leader now. You guys have gotten and before I get into like your personal story with this organization, let's talk we before me. Let's talk about the team. First game you guys played them. They've had a couple games uh, uh, since then. Like, is this kind of pretty much the same Vikings offense that you've played against a couple weeks back, or have they uh, evolved in a way? Um, they evolved in some in, in certain aspects, but I mean, if we see the same kind of tendencies. Uh, we kind of on the point where, where we are comfortable what we're going to see or what we're going to get, and uh, we're ready to fly around. You were able to shut down the run game. Dalvin Cook held him to around 60 yards rushing. Was was that by scheme? Was that something where you just trying to take away uh, that force Kirk Kurt Cousins to throw? Like, is that a point of emphasis again heading into this week? Oh, definitely a point of emphasis to try to stop uh, Cook. I mean, he's he's a guy over there. Um, when the ball's in his hands, he's, he can make any play and make it and take it for 100. So with that being said, uh, we got guys that's got, that, that got grit in him and just gonna go after him and make sure he doesn't get those yardage. TJ Hawkinson was able to make a couple big plays throughout that game. Uh, what's his skill set bring to this offense? How dangerous is he? Uh, he's very dangerous. He has a he's a very savvy vet. Uh, he knows a little 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 tendencies on how to get open, how to make his his, his routes uh, hot, hitting within the other routes that he has. And um, within that being said, uh, we just have to be keyed in on what he likes to be and where he likes to be at and. They are rules. So your personal journey with this team, I mean, you mean a lot to these Giants fans. When you got that interception against the Colts, the, the, the place <laughs> made my job easier as MC. <laughs> like, yeah, the place shaking in that sense. I mean, from when the Giants contacted you sometime throughout this year, did you think, really think, take us through your mindset, did you really think you would be back into the playoffs and this team would have success uh, this fast? Uh, I knew this team was going to make it to the playoffs. Just once I stepped into the door, well, once I got to London, I could tell how everybody were. Um, there was like it's like a family here, and that's how it was back in 2016. So it was like it was an unbreakable bond. So when I stepped into, it, I said, "Oh yeah, this team going to the playoffs now." When I stepped on the field, it was just, just a, it was just, just it was a big help. That's it. What's the difference between this team and the 2016 team? Uh, not much of a big difference. I'd say the only thing biggest difference is it was more bets on that 2016 teams compared to we are we are a very young team and this young team is really getting after and they really they really bought all the way into the system. You personally, a win in a big game this Sunday against this team, do you think that seals your legacy within Giants football, the Giants organization? Uh, <laughs> I don't I'm know. asking the media questions. I, I, I don't know, honestly. I'm uh, with that too. I don't know, honestly. Uh, I feel like just making plays here uh, sets my sets my life up, sets my career up, and keeps the love with the fans. Last but not least, what's your relationship like with Wink Martindale, and how is he able to turn around this defense so fast? Oh man, it's great. I, my relationship is great with Wink. Uh, he's very transparent, very honest. Uh, great coach, uh, loves his players, keeps us first. So with that being said, when you got when you do that for your players, they're gonna put all everything out on the field for you. You're gonna do whatever they want. You know what I mean? So. Uh, he's a great, co great coach to play for. Landon Collins, welcome back to the playoffs. Good luck on Sunday. Thank you, thank you.